Hey guys, Ryan here from Rode, and today we are at the Freefall Sessions at Jungle Studios in Sydney. I'm here with my good friend and producer of the Freefall Sessions, Antonio Hanna. Uh, Antonio, thanks for having us down here. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the sessions and what it's all about? Sure. So we had a bit of a chat a couple of months ago regarding doing some sessions together and we thought it would be a good idea to get some bands that perform live consistently well to showcase the fact that they don't need a studio recording, they don't need multiple takes and edits and such that they can get together in a room and play the tracks and rock out. So tell us about the uh, the mic choices. So we tried out a bunch of different mics um, on day one and we ended up settling with the M2 on the snare top. Loved the attack that it had and we also ended up going with an M3 for the snare bottom. I always like to use different top and bottom mics. Um, I find that you can get a different response and also that the snare will sound very different even if you use the same mic, so I kind of like to get a bit of different coloration for... Okay. Um, so kind of like a different tonal perspective on each right. side or something? Yep. Nice. And we tried out a bunch of, you know, things like the NT55s or always a rock solid hats ride yep. overhead mic. And kick was actually an interesting one. We thought we'd try out the Procaster and we also ended up using an NT2A on the outside of the kick to pick up a bit more of the bottom end of the... The drum is it? Yeah. Yeah. So, so Procaster being a dynamic mic, you've got that because it can handle the transient easier, and then and then NT two A is just picking up that real low thud and the the high detail. And That's right. So the Procaster was a really nice, um, kind of a nice sort of woody texture. Mm -hmm. Once we put it inside the kick drum, it had a had a really good response. And like I said, being a dynamic, it did handle the SBL really yeah. well. And I noticed that uh, you had an orange 4x12 cab for some isolated kind of guitar stuff in one of the takes, um, running an NT2000 and an NT3, was it? Yes, so the NT2000 was um, about an inch to the right of the center of your cone, mm -hmm. and that's going to pick up a lot more of the bottom end, being closer to the um, large part of the cone. Cool. And then to get a bit more of the detailing, we tried out a couple of mics, and the NT3 seemed to handle the volume really well, and it ended up getting, yeah, nice bit of detail, so a blend of the two mics is what we'll be using in the final mix. Yeah, that's great. So I noticed on vocals that you're running the S1, which is our condenser three-quarter inch diaphragm mic, which is generally geared more towards live stage use, but um, how, how have you found it in the studio? We found the S1 great. We used it just earlier on an acoustic artist, and we found that we got just an incredible amount of isolation, even though it was only, you know, 20 inches from the guitar Nice. Um, Port, he was able to sing into his mic and we were able to take a feed out of the guitar and also an NT2000 on the guitar and get amazing separation on the vocal take there. So it responded really well. So you've got uh, the guys from Salt and Snow, uh, the video production team walking around uh, filming. Have you found it a little bit difficult to try to, to capture audio and, and have people walking around? Is there anything that you kind of have to worry about as a film guy or as an audio guy with film guys in the same room as a, a studio recording? Yeah, being a studio recording where a lot of people are making noise as it is, any additional noise is something you don't want, so you don't really want footsteps. And mm -hmm. so the guys obviously had to tread lightly and try to refrain from getting too close to any of the mics. But other than that, the guys have been great. They've managed to get all their takes and... Yeah, yeah. so they worked with you on the first uh, free fall session, so I suppose they must have plenty of practice tiptoeing around bands in a studio recording. Yeah, that's that's right. And we've got, we've got a really good rapport, myself and the guys, and they kind of know we would specify when we want a take for video or a take for audio and yeah kind of get the right balance that's between right. them cool so where will people be able to see the free pool sessions yep so the free fall sessions are available online it's just freefallsessions.com mm -hmm. um, they're all youtube videos so you can embed them share them send them to a friend awesome. and both series will be on the free fall sessions website awesome well thanks so much for having us down here in the studio it's been great um, you know kind of checking out the whole chaos of it all getting set up and then you know the bands are just amazing that have been playing. So I look forward to hearing them online. Yep. Thanks very much for coming out, guys. Cheers. Cheers.